So, Realm of Ink, um, which let me do the thing. All right, Realm of Ink and Ink style roguelite ac rogu action roguelite game. Uh, while pursuing the fox demon, the swordswoman Red unexpectedly finds that her life is dictated by the destiny within the world of the book. Only by breaking free can she unveil the truth of her existence and challenge the constraints of fate. So we're looking at an action roguelite. Okay, if y'all can tell me if you are hearing and seeing things move. Because the real challenge of Steam Fest, Steam Next Fest, you think is, um, you think is playing all the games. It's actually uh, getting all the games captured uh, in OBS. Excellent. Okay. I don't know, like... Thinking about, thinking about Star Trek Prodigy, and now I'm like, so, you know, the where Dal tried to go through the, um, he tried to go through the Kobayashi Maru and essentially was allowed to pull from, you know, any crew anywhere, and it was a brilliant tribute to all of those actors. Um, but yeah, if you could pull together from any era your... You know, it doesn't even have to be your bridge crew. It could be your first contact. It could also be your second contact team, as now we understand for Lower Decks. But, like, who would you assemble for your bridge crew? You know, realizing, you know, the basic, the basic, what are they, five? You know, captain, first officer, um, con, navigation, security, science, communications. You know, who would you put together? Because you just could sit on the holodeck and have your dream crew which Reginald probably did more than once let's be honest um so let's see we have aim assist mouse direction attack um let's see here display mode yep uh we're using controller yeah I see it, what I mean at first I thought horns and then I realized it's probably a crescent moon hair um hair tie so we will see. And let me know if you hear things but don't see things moving. Huyao烧毁了你生活的村子,追上去,杀了他。哼,莫求,我们走。<笑> Oops, am I in the right window? I am. Ah, there we go. Okay, light attack. Oh, ow! Okay, charged heavy attack. And it looks like we get some health back from attacking. Okay, are there destructible things? Okay, I'm not, it's not twin stick, thankfully. Um, it's just moving here. Okay, enter. Okay, press A to apply a dash. Swift movement over short distances, disregarding all damage. And it looks like we have a little um, dots under us to tell us how fast we can dash or how many times. Okay. Okay, so like dash attack. So the, if you like this, you'll like this comparisons. Like if you like, if you like that kind of um, quick attack style, you'll like these. Okay. Press um, press menu for ge for ink gems info. Ink gems carry the ancient power of ink gods, each with unique abilities. Pick up ink gems to check their abilities. Okay, so this is the tiger ink 
metal. With the power of tiger ink, your aim sharpens and critical chance ascends. Okay. Equip up to two ink gems. Once you have two ink gems, your ink pet evolves into a unique form based on the combination of the five phases of the ink gems. Ink gems imbued with divine power grant you a unique active skill, ink skill, along with a powerful passive bonus. Decompose unwanted ink gems into ink stones to upgrade your ink gems for more power. Okay, so right now it looks like we have Claw Fury. Summon a Tiger Claw to attack the front, and for each enemy you hit, critical chance is up by 2%. The effect can accumulate for up to 10 stacks. Okay. And our passive effect is our critical chance is up by 5% and our critical damage is up by 5%. Also, the other ink skill you equip, which we don't have yet, gains additional critical chance, light attack, and heavy... Okay. This is a lot of things. Um, this is a lot of things that it does. Oh, our ink pet manual. Oh, Momo! And we, Oh, look at Momo. Cute. Okay. And looks like these are our stats so far. Okay. Oh, what? Oh, that's cool. Okay, so that's like an everything in front of us kind of thing. <laughs> All right. So we can equip up to two ink gems. Um, this is earth. This is water. I kind of want this one. I don't want to replace this one, actually. Yeah, can I just... Alright. Okay, so. We are at the Ink Pet Manual. Um, okay. Passive effect of the pet is that every three seconds it casts an ice pillar above a random nearby enemy and it summons a frigid ice realm. That's okay. So Momo has changed. Momo has evolved. So Momo changes based on... Okay, so we have metal and water. So that's what caused Momo to change. What happens if I... What happens if I um, replace you with you? Then Momo becomes swampy. Um, the basic attack is a puddle, but okay, no, I like the other one. Okay. I wonder. If, I was wondering if I could like. Ah, there it is. So, oh, we can hold R for the info, or we can just decompose it. And that gives us shards. Okay, challenge complete. Do, do what now? <laughs> As if I have gone through this so many times already. So this is interesting because, you know, based on the, the description of the game, we know that Red is a character in a book. So the person talking about fate... Like, are you talking about fate because it's your destiny, or are you talking about fate because that's how the book is written? And maybe Red doesn't understand that she's a character in a book yet. That's interesting. What's that noise? It feels like I've been affected by it for too long. Hello, Momo. Oops, sorry. Okay, so now our curse ink 
It's interesting. And Momo has become wavy. Ooh. Cast a water wave maker under a random enemy's feet, which erupts after two seconds, dealing 40. Oh, that's nice. Okay, let's let's go ahead and decompose you. Okay, choose root, which is there's one root. Gems abyss for ink gems and a small amount of silver coins. I assume that in the future there will be other routes we can take that will be options, but. Oh crap! Needle ink. Bleeding dirt. Bleeding. Oh, uh, okay. Okay, you're back to frosty. What happens if I replace? Okay, no, I think we'll stick with the curse ink for now. Momo's a nickname you played in D&D. &D. Oh. Okay. Uh, any... Aha! So we find... Oh, healing. Okay, healing in barrels. So definitely... You know... Looks like these barrels don't explode, even though they are red. Um, but healing if you need it. Okay, so now I think we're at our... Can I see a map? No. We're at our... <laughs> we're just destroying everything. Okay, so we can go for an elixir or let's go for the elixir hub. Personally, okay. Light attack damage. Let's go light attack damage. Okay, so the. Oh. Thank you. That uh, that gets us to our current charity goal. I appreciate that. Thank you very much. Um. Uh, perhaps on the next break I will raise the goal by by little bits. Um, but I appreciate that. Thank you so much. Okay. Um, okay, healing, because we needed that. Anything else we can destroy in this room? No. Okay, for gems, for perks. We haven't seen what perks are, so let's look at perks. Okay, the person... Oh, no. You're not friendly. You're, you're a great character model, but you are not friendly, buddy. Okay. So she is now essentially arguing with the person who's telling her this is your fate and destiny and you've got to do what you've got to do. And she's like, no, actually, I don't. Who are you to tell me what I have to do? Okay, so we have some, uh, these, these little suckers want to come in melee. This one archer has a nice directional line attack, which you can see on the ground. And then this big, um, this big cat is attacking, but also, like, has a red thing where it's going to show up. That's, that's a lot going on. Okay. The smith glove has our heavy attack plus 12%. The flaming fan, ooh, burning damage plus 10%. All direct damage has a 5% chance of inflicting one stack of burning, like that. Thunder Whip. When dashing increase, mm, we're gonna go, ooh. When dashing increase your crit, mm, No, we will go with flaming fan. Um, it is not a new Hades, but it's definitely a, if you like Hades, you'll like this game kind of thing. 
Um, looks like we get a shield when we dash, so I like that. Let's go ahead and destroy everything in this room. Um, yep, there's a healing potion. Thank you. Okay. Um, I like the perks, so let's see if we can find another perk. So it's interesting because, you know, we have our own attacks and then we have Momo who is very kindly uh, helping us out with these passive abilities. Okay, move speed plus, damage modifier when using ink skill. Damage is multiplied by 120% when your HP is full. Gimme. Uh, can we... <laughs> saying that without being fully healed, but still. Um, let me find some elixir, please. Oh, come on. Now I just got the thing where I need my health and you won't let me heal the full. It's mean. Alexa, stop. I did not ask for that to happen. My... I must have said something that activated it, but I didn't expect that. Um, different elixirs. Or, no, well... Yeah, we've got 369 silver coins. <laughs> nice. Um, we haven't had we haven't found a shopping hub yet. So it is definitely ooh, those little pots. That's hilarious. The pots explode. Um. Oh no, get away. Um, it is definitely, um, run and dash, run and dash, swipe, 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 speedy, speedy, speedy. Oh no. Oh no. Uh, so I'm playing this on Steam. Uh, it does look like the kind of thing that would easily um, work well for additional... Hmm, permanently increases light attack damage. We'll try the Soul Meld Elixir. Um, it also looks like it would work well on, um, on consoles, so that may well be in their future as well. But also, please don't ever, don't ever start doing like demo showcases on both Steam and like you know Xbox for gaming. We would not be able to keep up. Oh, hello. Impressive. I noticed you have some ink gems there. You know about these? Absolutely. They're from ancient, powerful creatures and can be real game changers in battles. But your ink gems are still at a low level. Let me help you enhance them. Okay, so we have these crystals that we've been picking up. And we can upgrade the quality from rare, which currently is to epic. Which Okay, so you can see the, Im the improvements. You get just a little bit more. Um, okay, the steam blast now, if we upgrade it, Another small... Yeah, we're going to go ahead and upgrade that. Do we only get one? No, we get... Oh. Oh, but it costs... Okay, no, it costs the same. All right. Summon the God of Wind. So let's go ahead and confirm this one, too. So it's interesting. You get to upgrade your powers if you collect the right currency. Um, And a good, good 
Oh, something about the ink gem has been bothering me. Since you are an ink gem master, do you mind if I ask you a question about it? Sure, go ahead. Do you know why the ink pet can evolve when I take different ink gems with me? You know, at first he was just a little black ball. All things change constantly, from the visible world to the tiniest leaf influenced by climate variations, including rare spiritual beings. Ink pets evolve alongside ink gems, reflecting the fluctuations of yin yang and transforming together. From my perspective, the black ball represents non-being. It only transitions into being when it intertwines with the ink gems. This seems reminiscent of what uh, Tao Te Ching expressed. Truly, being and non-being arise from each other. Excellent speech, but I don't know what you're talking about. Thank you. Oh, is this a shop? Then let's not, let's, let's not jack up your wares just yet. Oh, there's some choices made with these character models. That's all I'm going to say. Welcome, fresh and tasty dishes right on the spot. You must be hungry for such a long journey. Anything you need? Okay, so let's look at the shop for food. Okay, we have plenty enough to do, but also these these foods give us stuff. So this restores HP, and it increases our damage by two rooms. Okay, for two rooms. Ah. Can we afford this? We can. Restores 40% of your HP, plus 8% to max health, all damage, damage reduction, critical chance, angle, blah, 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 blah. Okay, let's, let's go ahead and buy that. Thank you. I like the sound of the food being cooked. That was very nice. Um, and yeah, it is very reminiscent of Hades. Okay. Ahoy there, intrepid traveler. Welcome to the legendary Golden Pond Traders. I'm Jin Chi, a wandering merchant in the vast pages of the Ink Realm, here to serve you. Hello? My sharp ink sense detects the fatigue of your epic journey. Feast your eyes upon these treasures. I'm offering discounts. Okay, so we don't... We already spent too much, so we don't have enough. But um, these are going to be things that we could buy. So these are these are sort of like perks. Um, DOT damage is up. Duration of curses is up. Uh, damage modifier... When you release, oh, damage on your attacks is up, and then twenty-five percent chance. That's okay. These are great. If I if I got more, I'm also a little concerned that we had an an ink gem upgrade, a shop for food, and a weapon master or perks master right before a room. Are we in trouble? We might be in trouble. This music sounds like we're in trouble. We're in trouble. Yeah, this is definitely... Oh, no. Oh, they... That was cheating. You have a second phase, you bully. Am I just not supposed to win this?
because don't tell me I'm not supposed to win. That just makes me mad. So I wasn't not I wasn't not supposed to win. I was definitely okay winning. Do I get to pick one or all of them? Oh, I get to pick all of them. Okay. Three claw attacks will be casted in your facing direction every five critical hits. Okay, again, more burning. Damage is multiplied. Damage is multiplied to full health enemies. Let's try the claw bracelet. This is... Okay, we're gonna... Um, we didn't like that one, so we're gonna let that one go. And then... More monies. Oh my goodness. Okay, that was a that was a tough-ish fight. I wasn't sure if the game was going to be like, okay, this is the part where you have to like start over because we're gonna stop you. Um, okay, so we'll try for more perks, because I like the perks. I can definitely see this also being a game where you get your favorite build, and you really aren't interested in, like, you know, you'll want to try all the builds out. Probably because there will be achievements and things like that, but... Um, but right now, I really like the... I like the water, I like the, the debuffs that Momo is giving. And, oh... Damage reduction plus five. Damage modifier whenever you're attacked. Oh, every time you're attacked, your damage goes up by 2% and stacks infinitely until you leave the room. Nice. Restore 1.5% HP every time you gain silver coins? Gimme. Indeed. Definitely. Um, also because... Yeah, like, instead of having doorways to go through, you're choosing it here, which is another kind of interesting thing, like, when you think about Slay the Spire and those maps where you're like, you know, which way do you want to go, instead of just having, now this has one door, and when you get to that door, you're like, well, which one do you want to pick? Um, okay, more perks. Well, we'll see if there's a gem that I haven't found yet. Oh, wow, you just wanted to all come through with the... Stop exploding, it's rude. Nope, nope, nope. Nope. Got me. It's, it's so fa it's fascinating seeing all the like all the arrows on the ground of this is the way they're gonna go but all of a sudden they all crisscross and you're just like uh what okay so we got coins so we got health venom ink ooh poison damage gimme the question is which one do I want to replace rosy Upon entering a room, triggers Floral Blessing, granting the player all damage 7%, increasing all damage 7% for 10 seconds, and Bloom Barrier, Blossom Barrier, all the mmm. So that's Venom and Water. What if I do Venom and Water Curse? Okay, same. Hmm. Yeah, I think we will. Ooh. That's epic, though, now. Hmm. 
Well, that's fine. We'll just... That's fine. We'll get some pieces back from it. Um... This is demo. We're trying stuff. We're also getting close to... Wait, where am I going? Where's my... Where's the way out? Is that the way I came... No, it's out. Um... We go for the silver chest so we get healed. Wait, why am I sneezing? Oh, is that the flowers? Because you cast the blessing on me, so I'm allergic to the flowers that you cast. That's kind of funny. Stop shooting water balls at me. Ooh, purple flower zone. I think I'm, I'm protected in those. Okay, so I get healed from picking up the stuff. Let's see if there's any health potions in these barrels. Oh, I also, because of my loadout, I got rid of the other thing and I, it gave me an extra dash. Now I get it. Okay. Um, it's not safe to leave fires just burning all over the place. Okay, let's go to get some elixirs. Um, uh, nope. Tell, it looks like there might be uh, additional damage from knocking them against surfaces. There's a lot more of you. Okay, great. Oh, there's tons more of you. That's not nice or fair. You say that's easy. Sure. Uh, permanently increases DOT damage by 50. Okay. Light, heavy, and now have a 3 per- mm, mm, We'll do this. All of my attack skills have a 3% chance to cause- plus 3% chance. It's not much, but as people who play TTRPGs, we all understand the power of a slight increasing chance percentageness doing. I was going with a thing, and my brain refused to make the words, but yeah, that. Nope. 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 Okay, you're on fire. Oh, that's the DOT. You're on fire. Got it. We are going to end soon, so I'm going to go ahead and resist all my instincts and stand here and get the snot beat out of me so we can see what happens when you end a run. <laughs> Ink dries up. Okay, new features. Shadow Twin Blades Azure Aura Blade are available now and a talent steal, so we have talents we can unlock. 
I, I'm still alive. Momo? How are you feeling? A fox? Hey, calm down. It's me who used the fox blood ink to heal you while you were unconscious. Without it, you'd likely be long gone by now. Fox blood ink? I love how everything Red says is a question because she has no idea what is going on. Yep, that's it. It grants you immortality. Seems like fate brought you here. So this is the Fox Inn, and who are you? Yes, that's right. I'm Ying Ning, the innkeeper. You must be exhausted after your journey. Rest up. It. It won't track you down here. It. Oh, I see you're just waking up from your story, huh? It's the Realm's Master. If you've heard a voice directing you, that's it. I won't be manipulated by it anymore. If you desire true freedom from it, you'll need to navigate the story relics. True liberation awaits there. But you should know, nobody has ever reached the end of the story relics. It's considered extremely perilous. Perhaps you should reconsider and have a second thought? How do I get to the story relic? Like, quick, like, how do I get there? To enter the story relics, you can pass through that scroll, but a quick tour of the inn wouldn't hurt. You might find something you need. Okay, so this is where we chill between runs. Uh, legend has it our spirit fox clan's deity established a protective barrier for this inn using blood as an offering, protecting this inn from it. This monument stands in honor of our fox's deity. Oh, and they say that by offering fox blood ink to this monument, you might receive the deity's blessings. Okay, so we can perhaps get ah the fox blood is what we've been gathering. So this is our this is our tree, and it costs ten fox blood for. Okay, this is health. So if we okay if we if we unlock all three of these, then we'll get that. Um, and starting off, so money, fox blood, ink stone, interesting. Okay. Um, so it does look like there's a lot to do here. Oh, it's very pretty. But, oh, I think there's our, there's our sparring buddy. Yep. Whoa. Why does the folding screen change its pattern when you enter the inn? Could it really be some artifact of the war god Shiyu? I can't believe that annoying panda was telling me the truth. You should try it. Focus your energy in front of the screen. Maybe you can comprehend different techniques. Okay, so this allows us to switch our weapons. And I will stop here because if you would like to look more into this and see the in-between room, I would say just start the game and then like die immediately and you can see all through this room. Um, but also don't. Go as far as you can before dying. But yeah, it has a lot of familiarity with um, even like Beat Slayer that we played the other day. You get that action-adventure roguelike, you do the action battling in the rooms, and then after you die... There's a lovely story about why you come back or why you just keep keep doing the run again. And there's a place for you to chill, buy your upgrades, talk to your people. And yeah, so yes, the if this feels very familiar, it is. But I think that adding that element to roguelikes and roguelites is, is a nice thing. Because, you know, you can just start the run over again. We all did back in the day with Rogue. But now we have a place to be like, wait, let me let me chill, let me buff up my next run, let me try also just relaxing. And depending, you know, maybe maybe you just really get into the story that happens in these in-between rooms. Um, but for now, we are going to go to the menu. Are you sure you want to return? You'll begin from this room in your next gaming session. Confirm. Okay. Uh, so that's Realm of Ink. It is fun. Um, but yeah, as, as many people in chat said, it will remind you, it will remind you of many things. Um, but a lot of roguelites do that. So let's exit out of this.